Hey kiddos, welcome back to our writing time. Last time I saw you, we were talking about different greetings that you can use in your friendly letters. Well today, guess what? We're gonna talk about the next part of our letters, the body. When we talk about the body of the letter, we are talking about the heart of the letter, where you give all the information that you want to share with the person that you are writing to. Today we're gonna to talk about one of two things that you can put in the body of your letter. All right, today we are going to talk about feelings and how you can express those in your letter. Now, thinking about the book, The Day the Crayons Quit, and the book, The Day the Crayons Came Home, did we see that the crayons told Duncan how they were feeling? Yeah, we did. We saw that the crayons constantly told Duncan how they were feeling. Some were doing great, like green crayon. Some were really upset, like the giant purple crayon from the day the crayons came home. Some were scared, like glow in the dark crayon. And some were just sad, like many of the crayons mentioned in the story but each crayon were, was telling Duncan exactly how they felt. And that's something you can do when you're writing a letter to someone. You can tell someone exactly how you're feeling. And you can use words such as, I was really sad when you took a toy from me. Or you can use words that tell them that you're happy. Like, I was really glad that you invited me to go to the park with you. Or I was really happy when you gave me your toy to play with. You can use a bunch of different words to tell someone how you're feeling. And I actually wrote a few out for you. Ta-da! So in the body, we can talk about our feelings. And you can use words such as happy. I was really happy when you let me use your toy yesterday. It made me smile. You can tell someone how you're sad. Yesterday, when it was raining, it made me really sad because I couldn't go outside and play. Or, I was really sad when you took my toy instead of letting me use it. You can use words such as upset. I was really upset when my mom didn't let me do the activity I wanted to, but then I was really happy because she gave me something new to do. Or you can say, I was really excited when we could go outside and jump in the rain with our rain boots. They're all different words that you can use. Can you come up with more words to tell me how you're feeling? Well, I want you to be thinking about that as you get your turn to write a body of your letter. Now, before I leave you, I need you to do a few things. One, I need you to grab a piece of paper. Two, I need you to grab a pencil. And three, I need you to start practice writing your letters. And this time, you need to work on your body of your letter. Tell someone how you're feeling and why you're feeling that way. And if you think of more words that can tell you or tell the person you're writing to how you're feeling, Save it and share it in tomorrow's morning meeting. All right, kiddos, I look forward to talking more about writing letters with you tomorrow. Until then, have a good day.